Jarvis, drop my needle. I am Iron Man. I'm like this all day. Bid you farewell and good luck, morons. Sometimes I think you like getting punched. I'm sorry. Did I step on your mom? I am Loki. The last god. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. You guys know I can move things with my mind, right? I can't go to Germany. Why? I got homework. Star-Lord. Who? Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw? Almost everyone in this room has had an encounter with at least one of the six Infinity Stones. Or substitute the word encounter for damn near been killed by one of the six Infinity Stones. Six stones, three teams, one shot. Thanos already has the Power Stone because he stole it last week and decimated Xander. Reality is often disappointing. Reality can be whatever. In order to take the stone, you must lose that which you love. In her notes, she called it the Tesseract. The Tesseract is where it belongs, out of our reach. If I give up the Time Stone to help your reality, I'm dooming my own. If he gets the stone, half the universe dies. I don't feel so good. You're alright. You can say what you like, you see, I will die for you. Welcome. Voice activation required. Thor. Access denied. Uh, Thor, son of Odin. Access denied. God of Thunder. Access denied. Strongest Avenger. Access denied. Strongest Avenger. Access denied. Damn you, Stark. Point break. Welcome, point break. <laughs> oh, so the new One Division promo has two big details that we need to talk about. Number one is this. Wonder, have you got bigger? Um, was that super speed? This probably backs up the strongest theory about this show, which is that Wanda created this entire world out of grief of losing not only Vision, but Quicksilver too. That on top of the rumors that Evan Peters will be featuring on this show, I think we can assume that Quicksilver will be returning to the MCU. I also have a theory that Vision could be the villain of this show, and whoever infiltrated her mind got Wanda's loved ones mixed up using Vision's body but Quicksilver's powers. Second big thing were the twins. Notice how Auntie Agnes looks scared of the babies. You might already know that those kids are future young Avengers Wiccan and Speed. In the comics her reality bending powers gave her those children, but she unknowingly used pieces of Mephisto's soul to do it. He then sinisterly absorbed their souls back into him. What I'm saying is not only should you expect the appearance of one if not both Quicksilvers in this show, but also Marvel's devil, Mephisto. And that's the team. I may have COVID, but I have not lost my sense of taste. That man is still delicious as fuck. I guess I'm just too tough to cry. I'm headed straight for the floor. Okay, what is a scene in a movie that is not inherently sexual that you find? This is every reference in Avengers Endgame, part five. When they first met, Cap never got Spider-Man's name, just his borough. Where are you from? Queens. Brooklyn. And years later, that was still the name that he was using when the two were fighting side by side. Hey, Queens. Heads up. When they first met, T'Challa had no time for introductions with Hawkeye. I'm Clint. I don't care. But in Endgame's final battle, the two were on a first name basis. Clint! Give it to me. We all remember what Thor calls Rocket in Infinity War. Thank you, sweet rabbit. Well, it turns out he's not the only Asgardian who doesn't know the difference between rabbits and raccoons. When they first fought, Iron Man learned something about Thor's powers. Power at 400% capacity. 
How about that? And by the time Endgame happened, Tony optimized his suit for that purpose. What should be in part six? What's a scene from a movie or a TV show that just makes you go like women? Hi, I'm Peter Parker. Hey, Peter Parker. You got something for me? <sighs> She's got help. What is it the DC Extended Universe is doing wrong that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is doing? I have so much to say about this, I'm going to give one of my many answers. As soon as Disney bought Marvel, you could tell that they completely unified their entire vision of their characters. Every Netflix show, every Disney Plus show, every cartoon show, all the versions of Marvel characters were all tied into the one version that you saw in the Avengers movies. Even the Lego Marvel video game was the same as the Avengers movies. But DC is all over the place. The DCEU characters are completely different from the CW characters which are happening at the same time. And that's different from the Titans TV show, which is different from the Young Justice TV show, which is different from the animated movies that they keep coming out with, which are really good. DC needs to get their characters straight and figure out what version they want to put forward to the public. Aren't you a damsel in distress? I'm a damsel. I'm in distress. I can handle this. Have a nice day. All the leaves are brown. All the leaves are brown. And the sky is gray. All the leaves are brown. I feel for a wall. All the leaves are brown. On a winter's day. All the leaves. There was an idea. bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more so when they needed us we could fight the battles that they never could in time you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Is your comfort random obscure YouTube video? Like that one video you always go back to when you need to feel serotonin. None of this would have happened if you had just listened to me. <laughs> if you even cared, you'd actually be here. Oh my god, this is what I had to do this. In Avengers Endgame, made in 2019, for just a few frames, you can see in the background that Ant Man has some orange slices for Hawkeye. Did you see him right there, right behind Nat's head? He has that for Hawkeye right after he's gone through time travel. It's never brought up, and you can barely see it, but the reason he's holding them is because in Captain America Civil War, right after he turned into Giant Man and then went back into Normal Size Man, he says this. Does anyone have any orange slices? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Mateus. M as in Marvel, A as in Avengers. 
Uh, T as in Thor, he's back. The kid on the TV just called me a dickhead again. Noob Master. Yeah, Noob Master 69. No, Master, hey, it's Thor again, you know, the God of Thunder. Listen, buddy, if you don't log off this game immediately, I'm going to fly over to your house, come down to your basement you're hiding in, rip off your arms and shove them up your butt! Oh, that's right, yes, go, go cry to your father, you little weasel. Thank you, Thor. Let me know if he bothers you again. Thank you very much, I will. Uh, then it's E as in Endgame, U as in Ultron, S as in Scarlet Witch, and then it's Ward, uh, W as in Wakanda Forever, uh, A as in...